In this video, learn how to easily create a day to night animation in After Effects. So whether you're looking to create a really fast time lapse or just a simple but smooth day to night transition, we're going to break down several motion graphic tips to create an awesome day to night animation. Let's get started. Okay, like anything that has to do with 2D animation or vector graphics, the success of your project is completely dependent on the setup of your scene. So before we can use After Effects to animate a day to night sequence, we need to briefly set up everything in Adobe Illustrator. And since I'm definitely not a graphic designer, you can download free vector scenes like this from freepick.com. Once you have your graphic in Adobe Illustrator, make sure every object is in its own layer. So I'm not going to spend too much time here in Illustrator, so if you want to learn more about the Illustrator to After Effects workflow, be sure to check out my tutorial on this link below. So the first important day to night tip here is to create unique elements that will only appear during one of the cycles. For example, I already have my sun, so I will quickly create a moon and some stars. And of course, make sure those elements are layered into their own layers. Also, while we're here, for some objects that will be challenging to change the color of in After Effects, you can copy and paste and place those objects into their own layers. Then, just change the color of the duplicate objects to day or night. In my case, I will change this tree to a night variant. Once you're ready, save your project as an Illustrator file and import it into After Effects. Make sure you select Composition when you import. Moving forward, we have all of our objects here in After Effects. So the next tip in our day to night animation is to set up the time standard for the transition between day and night. For example, we can take an important element like the sun and the other sky elements. I'll then hit P on my keyboard for position and I'll move it off screen like this and add a keyframe. Then we'll move forward by 12 frames or half a second and animate it back on screen. Then I'll move forward by one second and slightly move it across my scene. Lastly, we'll move forward by 12 more frames and animate it off screen on the other side. And most importantly, we'll move forward by one more second and add a keyframe. So now we can alt click the stopwatch for position and type loop out open close parenthesis. This will loop our sun elements forever, and now we have the standard of time for our scene loop. To showcase this in practice, I'll copy and paste these keyframes to our night sky elements. And then just offset all those keyframes by one and a half seconds. And of course, make sure the loop out expression is applied. When we play this back, we'll have this endless day night cycle that will loop until your computer gives out. The next obvious tip is all about color changing. There are many options here as you can use a number of coloring effects. One of these effects we can use is color balance and I'll apply it to one of my trees. Since the transition to night starts at one second and 12 frames, I'll add a keyframe for hue and lightness. And I'm literally just following the keyframes we made for the night sky. But you can change the hue and lower the brightness until you're happy with the color change. Then just move forward and set the keyframes to transition the element back to its original colors. And most importantly, make sure you set a final keyframe one second past the initial group of keyframes for the loop out expression to work correctly. And of course, apply the loop out expression to both animated properties. Then just copy and paste this effect to other layers to transition everything. Now you just don't have to use this effect, you can also add the fill effect to solid color layers or the gradient ramp effect to gradient by color layers. Then just animate the color like we did with the color balance effect. Sometimes adding color effects just won't work well, so that's why it's acceptable to create a night variant in Illustrator and make sure that they are imported into your project. Then just animate the opacity to fade them up and out to follow your day to night cycle. Speaking of which, that day to night cycle is really coming together. Also, another great tip to sell the transition of your scene is to have objects that only show up during the day or only at night. For example, this fire should only be seen at night but not during the day. So I'll animate the opacity and add the loop out expression just like with every effect. Small elements like this really help sell the day to night effect. And if you need to push your After Effects and Premiere Pro work to the next level, be sure to pick up our motion graphics pack where you can instant import titles, logo animations, and many cool templates to save you endless time. You can easily change colors, text, and all parameters to fit your project needs. So be sure to check out the link below to pick up your free template pack and always be creative.